All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of 4 minus 625 is equal to 0. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite 625 as 5 to the power of 4. So now if I have something in the form a to the power of 4 minus b to the power of 4 is equal to 0. Now, from here, I'm going to rewrite x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2 times 2, and phi to the power of 4 as phi to the power of 2 times 2. And the reason I'm doing this is because now I can use the exponential property a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2 is going to equal x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. And phi to the power of 2 times 2 is going to equal phi to the power of 2 to the power of 2. And the reason I did this is because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is 5 squared, which is equal to 25. So I get x squared plus 25 times x squared minus 25, or sorry, yeah, I get x squared plus 25 times x squared minus 25 is equal to zero. And now this gives me two equations. I get x squared plus 25 is equal to zero, and x squared minus 25 is equal to zero. So I'm actually going to first solve x squared minus 25 equals 0. So I'm actually going to rewrite 25 as 5 squared. So it makes it easier to solve. And now from here, I'm going to use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b again. So I get x plus 5 times x minus 5 is equal to 0. And this gives me another two equations. I get x plus 5 equals 0 and x minus 5 is equal to 0. So I get x is equal to negative 5 and x is equal to 5. So these are two solutions so far from this equation. And now we can focus on this equation x squared plus 25 is equal to 0. So to solve this, I'm actually going to subtract 25 on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to negative 25. And now I'm going to take the square root on both sides because we want the value of x and the square root of x squared is equal to x. So I get x is equal to positive or negative square root of negative 25, which is equal to positive or negative square root of 25 times the square root of negative 1, which is equal to positive or negative 5 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to the imaginary number i. So I get x equals positive or negative 5i. So these are two more solutions. So this equation has four solutions in total.